Bora Bora, that's why. <laughs> God, it now can't go in there. It can't go in there. Right? The hell no. <laughs> Yo. But that's the life. The people, them life miserable. And them ignorant. So you're happy. Them ignorant. They're ignorant to your happy to Dan, but not lie. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, it's my wig from Lee Chain Beauty. They're ignorant to happy. They're ignorant to your happy, and them why you join the misery, see? So I'm trying to say, yeah, man, remember just dump on our case, dump on our case, dump on our case. Because them things are by time, them dump on your case, that I go force you now. So go, yeah, like it, like he's dumb. Oh, hi, Rod, 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 oh my God, Dominic, Rod Dominic from Spain. Espania, oh from oh uh, from, from Tommy from Paris, lovely, yay. My puppy, oh God, cave it. I give it that long time, <laughs> two weeks in. The puppy is supposed to. Glamour. Glamour. Me give it, me give it glamour from week two, my love. Me, the father never give me no time for prepare for no dog. <laughs> Nobody, yeah, yeah. That is? Thank you, Kira. I'm um, Karika. Me, my love, give it that two weeks. Two weeks. Two. It was too much. Dog, I bite up my curtain. and bite up my drip. It's come out here. Move. He didn't Move. Know you. He didn't know me. He didn't know me. Me don't want a dog. <laughs> the best animals are on the animal planet. I don't want none of them. You a dog. At all. You understand me? I don't. I don't at all. No, sir. Yay. Yes, guys. So I, I, I gave that dog away a long time ago. Did that was a big, ang big no. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a dog. I want jewelry and tackle on him somebody. Buy me a Range Rover. I'm not a dog. I'm not the dog. No, I'm really, mm. I don't like dogs. I don't like animals like that. I'm not cruel to animals or anything, but I just don't want them in my reality. They take a lot of time, a lot of dedication. I don't have that. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Yeah. So I gave that away. Uh, we're going to probably have to have another nice vibe, you know, as I said, sometimes you have to change your environment in, uh, you know, in order to change your mindset and to change your outlook. All right. Because a lot of times we are saying we have a circle. I'm a friend. I'm a circle. I'm a circle. I friend them. You don't have a circle. You have a cage. You don't have a circle. You have a cage. And you need to shake and come out of that cage in order to live your best life and in order to grow. Yeah, Thank change you. Change um, your environment to change your outset, your outlook and to change your mindset. You have to have a paradigm shift. Excellence should be a way of life, not a coincidence. But the only way to do that is by training your mind, letting go of certain things, re-socializing yourself, speaking life over yourself, speaking good things over yourself. Our own mouths can be our own killer, our own sword. So you have to speak life and positivity. Guys, sometimes, you know, you have some people, they might talk a bag of dirty things about you. They're speaking some very derogatory things about you. But guess what? If you feed yourself life, if you speak life over yourself, a lot of those things will just bounce off of you because you know what? You know who you are. You are not who they say you are. You are who God says you are. But guess what? We cannot want people to cheer for us and we are not cheering for ourselves. We have to be our own cheerleaders. And so there is life and death in the tongue. So you have to speak life over yourself. Stop downing yourself. Stop berating yourself. Stop throwing yourself under the bus. Because if you tell you anything you tell yourself, you're right. If you tell yourself you can't, you're right. And if you tell yourself that you can, you are also right. So speak up yourself. Speak good about yourself. No matter about it, tell you nothing. Sport self-praise is not the is not recommendation, really. Well, if I can't recommend myself, my love, nobody's going to be able to recommend me. Speak positively over yourself. And be around people that speak well about you as well and speak good over you. No, for the dirty demon, them, them women never pray over them. Them never have to pray for them or pray over them. Pray over yourself. Right? Don't use your mouth and yourself against your own self to be a barrier. Use your words and your mouth to be a bridge. To connect you to the right people. To connect you to the right opportunities. Don't make your mouth be a barrier. Make your mouth be a bridge. Speak life into your life. Speak life over yourself. 
Sometimes we, we are the last person to congratulate yourself or pat yourself on the shoulder. And no matter how small the progress is, little progress is better than no progress at all. If you used to smoke 10 cigarettes a day, for example, right? And you start smoke five, congratulate yourself. At least you are cut down. You're not where you want to be yet because you want to get to zero, but at least you're cut down. Right? If you're used to the certain things, you're cut down. But you have to speak life over yourself. Because if you don't believe in you, and if you don't speak life over you, who is going to do it for you? If you don't believe in yourself and wish yourself well, who is going to do it for you? And guess what? People will treat you how they see you treat you. So if every time, Lord, me can't bother with me, me this and me that and you talk all the bad things, demon, Lord, me this and, Lord, me that and whatever. People pick up on these things. People listen to you, how you treat yourself. Lovably, you have to encourage yourself. You have to big up yourself. You have to empower yourself. And so your environment is very important. Don't go around people or be in environments that are toxic. With low vibrating people who don't have nothing at all. Right? Who have achieved nothing in life. You can't tell me nothing. You know, achieve nothing. You can't give me no talk about nothing at all. Hello? You can't even run your own life. Touch your neighbor and say life. Right? You have to speak life over yourself. More life. Be around people who speak life over you as well. Because you have some people, them negative, them bad mind, them disgusting. Every time you link up, it's a negativity. It's a negative vibe. Come out of the environment there. It's not helping you. It's not helping you to grow. It's not helping you to develop. So when you see those environments, get out of it. Come up with a reason. Yo, you know, say I'm busy. Um, you know, say I have some do me a study. Something. Because at the end of the day, those people and those situations, they drain your energy. And when I say environment, it's just not a physical place. It is also in people. Because people also contribute to your environment. They are your environment. If every time you go around somebody and when you leave them, you feel drained. You feel so much worse than when you came around them. Stop going around them. Something all right. The vibration off. The energy off. Every time you go around them, I be a negative and I be a mix up and I be a chatting and I be a this. Nothing uplifting. Nothing motivational. You know, them not giving a little word, not a little feel good. Nothing feel good. All right, for example, you have a friend, right? I'm not telling you to lie to your friend. But if, or, or even a loved one, or a family member, somebody who you hold near to you, right? Say, so for example, they have smell, them have bad breath, okay? I am not saying that you should lie to the person and tell them, say, them breath smell good. But also, you don't just tell, oh, your breath stink. No, you don't do that. You don't, you don't disrespect people like that. You don't talk down to people like that. You don't hurt people's feelings. If you say me, you're a friend and you love me, you rate me. Yes, they will tell me the truth, but how oh, you cushion it and how you say it. You have some people, you go around them, lad, your ear one do. Lad, your forehead big, your nose big, your mouth big, your ears big, your this, your that. Your lad, your big and fatty. Lad, your maga e. Lad, your this. By, by the time they're done with you, you feel so less than a person. Then hear you when you go home now at you. Lord God, me too fat for chew. Lord, me big and sour. Me this. Lord, my mag and dry up. Lord, me ears big, me eye big, me nose big. I want my nose big. And tree a grain on my face, there is a monkey out there ready to climb it. No worry about it. No worry. Never have nothing good to say about you. Don't go around them. They're not your friend. And them do it about you. My have to talk the truth. My have to talk the truth. Your teeth rotten. And that I want to tell you. And your mother ate you. That mo want tell you. Your father ate you. That's why you don't know him all now. And you're 30. Yeah. That mo want tell you. That me, me, all right. Like how you talk the truth. Make me talk the truth to them. Yeah. So everybody just talk the truth. Make everybody just talk the truth. You have to be very careful of the words that you say. It is a fallacy to believe that. Oh. You know the saying that. Sticks and stones may break my bones. But words may never hurt. That's a lie. That's a fallacy. That's a lie. Words are very powerful. 
I am sure that many of us used to get, uh, have gotten beaten before, right? You get a beat, your mother beat you, your granny beat you, your mother beat you, your father beat you. And it's the at when you get the beaten. At, 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 at. Right. So you get a beaten and, and you wheel up, you know. And, you know, after a day or two, the beaten cool off. But if there was ever somebody in your life that said to you, you'll never amount to anything. You're ugly like your papa, you're ugly like your mama, and you're worthless, and you're not turned out to be nothing at all in a life. Let me tell you something. Those words never leave you. You remember who said it? You remember where the person have on? You remember the day the person said it? You remember the tree where the person stand up under? You remember which part of them sit on? You remember it never leaves you. So when people say that words, six and stone may break my bones, but words may never hurt, no, words hurt. And so you have to watch your words over your life. You have to watch your words that you allow people to put on you and over you. If there are people around you that are always mm -hmm. negative, are always downing you, are always downing your efforts, are always raining on your parade, they never celebrate you. Move away from them. Them a demon. If every time you go around a the person, they're all, and, and, and hear them, what them do now? Them try to bring it off like it's a joke. It's not a joke. You're not joking. Move your, okay, hey, move on where you think. I'll class, you know. Move away from them. They're draining your energy. They're lowering your self-esteem. They're lowering your self-worth. Move away from them. Do not engage with them. Because they mouth. Them supple come out. Is a demon. Don't go around them. Go around people who are happy for you. People who uplift you. And people who recognize your efforts. You may not be where you want to be, but them push you the same way. Yeah, man, go on, girl. Me see I try, girl. Yeah, man, wall it, my sister. Wall it, my brother. Yeah, man, big up yourself. Me see I try, my dad. Yeah, man, big up. Go on, wall the faith the same way. Anytime you talk to the people, them, and they're always discouraging you. They're always trying to get you off your progressive path. Leave the crosses, them alone. Leave them at the foot of the cross. And if I your family member, if I your mother, if I your father, if it's your children, if it's your husband or your wife, leave them at the foot of the cross. Leave them there. Because what you take onto yourself, what you tell yourself, what you feed yourself, you become it. If you tell yourself you're worthless, if you tell yourself you can't do it, if you tell yourself, say, Lord God, me can never become nothing in life, Lord God. Guess what, guys? By speaking that, you are manifesting that in your life. You are manifest it. And then now, when nothing is going for you, and thing, and you're not moving a life, you're not moving up, you're going to say them over here, and then them over here, and your mouth. And your mouth, depend you. Your own mouth, depend you. Your own mouth. Not everybody will understand your dream, and not everybody will understand your vision, but it's not for them to understand it, because it's not theirs, it's yours. God gave you the vision. God gave you the dream. So if there are people who are always putting you down, whether under Sykes or under joke or as a little joke, I mean, I run certain joke, you know, yo, me a serious woman, I mean, I run joke. Certain joke, I mean, I run. Because guess what? A lot of times, it's not joke, them joking. Them serious. But them just put a little laugh on it for try to fool you. And them, enough of them are playing fool for catch wise. It's not a joke. They're not joking. It's not funny. That's not funny. There's nothing funny about it. I see my fans them roll out for me. And I defend the thing and I talk the things them. And I sincerely appreciate you. Because certain things are not funny. It's offensive. It's degrading. It's rude. It's out of order. There's nothing funny about that. And anybody will call me. But, uh, it's funny or it's hilarious. Yo, I, I class more class here. What's, there's not, that's not funny. That is not funny at all. There's nothing funny about it. And if you say you love me, and you say you're in my corner, and you're kit, Miss Kitty Nation, and you're team Miss Kitty, you don't find that shit. That's not funny. That, that ain't funny at all. You understand me? That's not funny. It's not funny. I will not talk about it. I will not, Truly? I will not <laughs> it's not funny. So, you know, you have to also make sure you speak good over yourself. You believe in yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you don't believe in you, nobody's going to believe in you for you. Anybody who is putting you down every day, 
make you feel bad every day. Like as you come up for the phone, you just feel worse. You and them vibration, you're not in alignment. Leave them alone and make them stay over there. When them call and say, girl, a long time you not hear from you. Boy, you know somebody you're busy. Boy, I'm tell some work upon me, a girl. But, but they, may I read a book? Yeah, you yeah, read book? So you read book? Yes, girl. May I listen to Miss Kitty live? I'm going to see her with one book. I'm going to take up the book. Yeah, may I read now? Yeah, may I read? Okay. You don't need to be the same person today that you were yesterday. You don't need to be the same person you were last year, this year. You have to grow. You have to change. You have to move up. All right? So, your mouth should be your bridge, not your barrier. Speak positively over yourself. There's only one you. And you, with all your flaws and all, or perceived flaws. Because what is a flaw to somebody else is a beauty mark to somebody else. Yes, Carrie, I'm busy, 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 I can't talk to you. I don't have time, because you're a waste of time. I don't have time. I'm a busy bud. I'm a busy, I'm a busy, I'm a busy. Yeah. Very busy. You're That's very busy. why. You're very busy. Yeah. But it's something for Jane. So. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I still come deal with it. Okay. Yeah. So you just make them know. You understand me? So you have to speak positively over yourself. So when them things say, oh my God, it's a fault or a flaw. You ever hear the saying, say, one man treasure, the next man treasure. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And some of our talk, if you see them mother, if you see them mama, if you see them papa, if you see them bikini, you see them granny, you see them auntie, you see something else. You just spread out like a big sheet. Yeah. Let me tell you. You want to see some of them family member. I remember one girl did a talk about how I'm fat. And I live to see her mother post on Facebook. Her mother is not only fat, her mother is tall. So she's big and tall and fat. And I saw the lady post that them put her off of one bus. Because she took up two seats. I didn't find it funny, you know. Because them something that hurt me, you know. Them something that disrespectful. She said she's in the bus. And because of her weight and her size, I guess she take up two seats. So the doctor tell her, say, she have to go pay for two seats because like four are supposed to in the row. And because of she, only three can be in the row. So he wants her to pay for two seats. Now the lady decided that, listen, she's not paying for any two seats because she's one person. Well, the conductor proceeded to take her off the bus if she not pay the two seats. And you know, you can see the lady when she was writing, she was very upset and she feel bad. And I understand. I mean, I said, life funny is. Life funny, you know. If you ever know how your daughter is out here past making derogatory remarks about fat people, about people with weight, and you as our mother, we are size 12, tall and fat, and you, them are put you off a bus, and you see how it feel? It don't feel good. And yet, say that out here, I find fault with people who oh, fat are old, oh, fat are old, oh, big and fat are old, oh, this and that, 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 that. Nobody never put me off a bus yet. Me never take bus. Me take all bus one day and last. Come apart my car, say, I'm going to take the bus and see you. Oh my God, yeah, I'm going to go on a bus. I end up last. And here it is that this person. This is your mother. So my mother could have big fat and tall. And me uh, laugh off a fat people. Why, why, why would you do that? Why, why would you do it? something like that? Why? Why? And when the lady wrote that online. I'm going to see it. I'm going to say God. You watch there. Yeah? You see all them something here? Yeah? And when I'm going to put up our picture. You know, may I tell you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big and tall. I may say, boy, your daughter is a perpetrator of this type of behavior. How could it, how could it be that I have a mother that is uh, fat? Eh? Oh, me can't have a mother we can't read and write. I'm like, me I laugh off of other people. Me can't have a mother we stay a certain way. Our family member we stay a certain way. And I laugh off of people. How you, how you do it? How you do it? I remember there was a somebody again come from my page and said some derogatory remarks, something about my weight or something or another. When I clicked on the person, the person is in a wheelchair. The person is in a wheelchair. No, the granddaughter, sorry. Her granddaughter is in a wheelchair and has cerebral palsy. 
The granddaughter is in a wheelchair and has cerebral palsy. No. You talk about my weight now. And you talk about me. If me now, if you talk back now, about your granddaughter, we know the wheelchair and have cerebral palsy, and how she come by, you got ear set. I shouldn't do it. But you leave all where you do, and you leave all of your fault and all of your something them and come over here. You see your life stay? And them something they may talk about. And them something they. Your mother own grand don't live anywhere, and you want to find fault with people. Your children, them do stay good, and you want to find fault with people. And they, them something they may talk about. Your mother never have no teeth. At them something they, and you find fault with people. I want to click on this something, you know. I say, boy, you know, these are the things. I, I didn't even bother to respond. I didn't even bother to respond. I said, when they, I said the woman post, pan, and, and again, I said she post something like she talked about her shoe size. She wear size 12. And I said, you see it? At them something I talk about. So your mother big, fat, and tall, and wear size 12, and yet still, you're laughing at and finding fault with fat people. You have a granddaughter who is in a wheelchair, has cerebral palsy, and yet still, you are laughing at people. And if people should point out these reality, if people should point these realities out, you're going to hear say, people insensitive, and you this, and you hype, and you never have a god this, so, and not them something there. All the time it happen. If you see how some of them pick the course and stay bad and favor number not steel wool, or favor the giddy house over Port Royal, you'll have said something different. But here it is. You have time for your fine fault with people. I'll know your mother know no the vowels them. I'll know your father can't read and write. You're not talk about that. You're not talk about that. But you have time though for fine fault with people who not trouble you. People who not bother you. And people who is not a burden to you. Yeah. I saw life go. So it's there. I have, my, I have my talk, if I bring up your mother now, if I bring up your father, if I bring up your kids them, and I bring up all your own grand broke up, you know, and I live now where, you got to hear some hype on these things. Because guess what happened? A lot of people now, you, you know, if I tell you, say they are foreign, you're illegal, and you're fair up and down, and you have to live in a basement, and you have to live on food stamp, you got to hear some hype. But how is it that they are foreign, illegal, and you have time to talk about people? You don't want to go get your papers? You don't want to, you, you don't want to get, you don't want to get the papers? You don't, you don't want to get a job. You don't want to get anything. I don't, I don't know. You don't, you don't want to know what it feels like to go to Bank of America. You, you know, you don't have anything. No, no, not at all. You live in your car. You live in your car. How, how do you, how do you do it? How you do it? You're broke. Mentally, physically, and in reality, you're broke. How do you, how do you jump on people? How? You're doing the bare minimum in life. You're doing the bare minimum in life. You're minuscule. And yet, you have a rapacious appetite to always be speaking derogatorily about people. How? 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 When? You know? Your mother wash out people dirty clothes. Eh? You don't, you don't want to talk about that. You don't want to get your mom. You don't want to work hard so you can't help your mother. For stop. You know what? Do them something there. You know, you what? Your mother always lean the top of the top of the drop in panar, you know? Yeah. You, something there. You, you're not talking about something there. You're not talking about the real something. You've never taken a vacation. You don't want to take a vacation. You've never helped anyone. As I've said, I've given away so many university, university scholarships in the past three years. Those things don't go viral. Yet still you have some people who never send them people to go to school. But you're always on other people. Yeah, talk about me ugly. Oh, listen, I'm a self-assured person. I grow good. From an embryonic stage, my mother instill in every sinew of my being that I am beautiful inside and out. So trying to convince me that I'm ugly or trying to convince me that I'm not beautiful or that I'm not hot is trying to convince me that Jesus white. 
He's trying to convince me that Michael Hitchin is broke. Well, in the words of Bada Cap, that will never happen. I'm beautiful. I know this. My body in a love. Grow in a love. Grow with love. And as I say, olive tree are growing on my face. A monkey out there for climate. Yeah. Because enough people, you know, find fault with people, you know. I want to say, phone of Wally Pa, fault them. I want to have more fault than with John Reed upon the Isle of Patmos. Now nah, talk about that. Talk about how you're hungry, man. How you're naked, how you're box bought. you catch pan, you tap on them something there. Oh, your gener the generational curse them with the pound and them something. Talk about them something then. Oh, your favorite eel back or your favorite scab. Talk about that. I miss a clean skin right show. No cocoa bed, no dog bite, no mildew. Mm -hmm. Talk about them something there. Nobody want to talk about that. And then when people start to point the stuff out, oh my God, true shit this son. Shit not touch. But when you come to attack people, you don't think that they're going to talk about you? Really? You don't think so? Yeah. You all and have nothing. You're born from the union, jack up. I all know you're not own way. you scam. you thief. you do the things. Them. But now I talk about what they do. Why you want to leave people alone? If we should see a lot of their lineage, trust me. Not if them can't them can't star in any Disney movie because I cartoon them. I love myself. And not in a narcissistic way, but I'm proud of me. I love me. I know my I ask Christ. I know I stay good. Mm -hmm. I love myself like how oh, Jesus loved little children. I'm good over here. Because all women was big 20 times. My heart stay good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, I just want to encourage you to speak well about yourself. Speak positivity over yourself. Because if you're waiting sometimes for people to reassure you, you're never going to get it. A lot of them are so bad mind. A lot of them are so poisonous and venomous. Right? That they will never give you a compliment or give you a pat on your shoulder. So don't wait on anybody to celebrate you. Don't wait on anybody to, sh to cheer you on. And as I say again, if all of me not at my bright, my bright, my bright, my bright, my bright. Yeah. Right? Be your own cheerleader. Speak positively over yourself. When you get up in the mornings, you tell yourself you can. I'm worthy and I deserve it. I am worthy and I deserve it. I'm going to go for it. I'm a champion. I have the heart of a champion. I can do it and I deserve it. Don't make nobody tell you or trick you out of your spot. Because a lot of times people will speak negatively about you because they see your potential and they see where you're going. And because they want to trick you out of your spot, they try to dissuade you, they try to put you off, they try to turn you down, Deborah. You understand? Because through them, no say so promotion will come, they try to plant the seed of doubt in your mind and in your brain and in your heart. And if you're not careful and if you're not a guardian over your mental health, if you're not a guardian over yourself, you buy into the lie and trick you yourself out of your spot if you're not careful you trick yourself out of your own spot because of them if me the list of people who you're fat and this and that and you're big and fat and this and that i would never go on a stage i've been on so many stages prime minister call me governor general everybody call me rich people poor people everybody I was not about to let anybody trick me out of my spot because I know I'm great. Greatness runs through every one of my veins. Greatness in me. I'm going to ask Christ. I'm going to ask nobody. Don't allow anybody to trick you out of your spot. That promotion that you want to go for, that new thing that you want to go buy, that new business venture that you want to go into, do your research. And don't make nobody say, Lord girl, nobody with that. You know what I apply for that the promotion? They call them now get okay, I like you. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? 
Because guess what? She not plan to ask for the promotion. She not plan to apply for the promotion. Because guess what? She don't want to go do the work. She don't want to go do the work. But you are prepared to do the work. So don't sabotage yourself. And don't trick yourself out of your own spot.